The market rips higher as the bulls try to find their way. Do we have a clean path? Find out next on Invest with Jacob. So we expected the bulls to make their wave three push today, and they did. Our initial target was 41.60, but as they pushed up, I told you it was likely they would hit the extension at 41.72. The market topped today at 41.72, which is why Elliott Wave is so powerful. We'll get to that in just one second, but first, if you're new here, welcome to the show, guys. My name is Jacob Gabbard. This is Invest with Jacob. I highly encourage you to hit that subscribe button down below so that you can get our daily S&P updates, our trade setups, and our buy alerts. Okay, guys, so the title of this video is A Bull's Dilemma, and here's why. We hit our Wave 3 target perfectly, and we're in the middle of the pullback overnight, and now the futures are kind of pushing higher. We expect to hit 4,200 tomorrow. The problem with 4,200 is it hits multiple targets. It hits our Wave 5 target to complete Wave 1, which is what we've been looking for for so long. However, it also hits the A equals C B wave target for a correction, leaving the door open to a collapse down to 39.50. So it's a little bit of a catch 22, right? Are we in the right spot or are we getting a bull trap? So because of that, if we hit 4,200 tomorrow, the pullback becomes of the utmost importance. If we hit our retrace for wave two and start to bounce and move forward, then we can start to feel confident that we've got a wave one in place and wave three is starting to build. However, if we break wave two support, then we have to consider that we are in the C wave down of four towards 39.50. That is my least favorite path of all of the options we have, but it is still on the table, so we have to consider it. So because of that, we have to be patient, as I've been saying all along, and let wave two form so that we know that we're not in that C wave decline. So one thing I do want to address is there's been a few questions about when our next trade is coming. We need to be patient and wait for the right setup. We're not here to trade every day or trade every movement or try to capture every 10 to 50 point move. That's not the goal. Our goal is to have high reward, low risk trades where we have a great chance of putting money in our pocket and a small chance of losing money. So when does our next trade start? It starts when we hold wave two support and we start to move up. That way we have a strong support under us so we have low risk and we have all of wave three above us so we have high reward. And that's the model of this channel. We are here for high reward, low risk trades. So with that, let's jump into the chart and take a look. Okay guys, here we are on the five minute SPX chart. We can see we had our one, two, one, two setup, which is a great setup to trade. We didn't this time because we've got burned on a couple times in the past, but it hit exactly the target we wanted to at 41.72 and it started to pull back overnight. As long as we stay over 41.40, I expect this to move toward 4200 tomorrow or Monday. So if we do complete wave five tomorrow up to 4200, what are our support levels to know that we are bottoming in wave two and not completing a wave C? So we come down here to the bottom of the low here and we move up to 4200. And that tells us that 4166 and 4145 are our two most likely support levels. If we pull back in a corrective fashion to either of these two levels and bounce, then it looks like we are in wave two and we should expect wave three to move up and that's where we will enter our trade. If not, it will be an impulsive structure down and it will blow through all of our support levels looking for 39.50 to finally complete this wave four consolidation. So that's our dilemma today, guys. Where are we? Are we in the top of wave B going down into wave C or did we finally complete wave one up? Both are contingent on hitting 4,200. So I do expect that tomorrow. I do expect us to hit 4,200 and then assess from there. Guys, if you want real-time updates, get in my Facebook group. There's a link in the description down below. The only requirements are you subscribe to this channel and you like my Facebook page. It's free to get in. It's free to join my Slack channel where we have conversations about trading all day. And I tell you what levels are important if you decide to make trades outside of the channel trades. So guys, tomorrow, key takeaways. We expect the bulls to bottom out wave four and start up into wave five. It may take till Monday to get to 4,200, but you could see it as early as tomorrow as the futures are positive and they did hit our support level. The next thing we wanna see is the support coming down in wave two after wave one completes. If we hold support and bounce, that's where we will look to hopefully enter a trade and capture all of wave three with a high reward, low risk trade. If it blows through and keeps going down, we're in wave C and we're probably tar targeting 39.50. It is the weekend, guys. Have a drink, enjoy your weekend. Hopefully Monday or Tuesday we can enter a trade and make a whole bunch of money. All right, guys, that is the update for today. Happy trading, have a great weekend. I'll talk to you next week.